Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and welcome to the ISGP4 Weekly Roundup. We're covering the first two weeks, not one week, but two weeks of the ISGP4 tournament. Four blocks, four groups, 32 competitors, one survivor. Uh, not really, I guess they will survive. If you win, you're a survivor. Uh, I've got the wiki up here that I've just put together with all of the races, and we're gonna be covering, yeah, as I said, the first two weeks. Now, uh, you look at the groups here, and we look at the races done, and look, at the, rea the reality is, is that early on, it is very hard to determine who is going to make it, like, you know, what, what the kind of, the, the, you know, you get a little bit of a vibe for the group, but you won't really get, um, you know, a massive, um, what's the word, you won't get like a massive idea of who will go through and who won't, and you'll see that very, very quickly as we get into our first group, which is group A. So with group A, we have, uh, we've got, what we've got here, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, cool, yes, yeah, so we have five matches for group A. And we basically have, at the moment, a five-way tie for first. We have a Gork, we have Skater, we have Connor David, we have Antonio Curtis, we have Dan DeFanta, all with, with wins, with wins, all with wins. With that, we have Dr. Monkey Man with two losses, but the two very good competitors, so I wouldn't count him out. We have TK with a surprising loss to, Con uh, not Con David, to Dan Defanta, uh, which was a fantastic race that utilized the Headback Apocalypse um, you know, function. Uh, as Al talked about, or Antonio talked about uh, you know, a few weeks ago, you know, what we had is we wanted to make it so that there'd be plenty of opportunity to do these kind of fun races while also making sure that they're not dominant. Not that they ever really were, but I think that, yeah, we've got some, we've got some great, uh, you know, great sort of extracurricular races that are coming. We've even seen Spyro Reignited Trilogy, which is a, you know, a massive highlight which we'll get to a little bit later. So as I said, Group A, absolutely no real um, indicator to me who is going to go ahead here. I think it could be anyone's game. It could be anyone's game. All right, so Group B. Yes, I know you look at Group B and you go, what the absolute hell am I doing on top? But, well, the reality is I got one victory against King Pez, who's a great competitor. Um, and this is the only group, this is the only race that's been uploaded. Now, there have been more. We had uh, some people out due to uh, some life reasons that, you know, um, I guess will, yeah, now I've sort of been making up for that. So I, I got bitten by my dog bad. It look, doesn't look bad anymore, but like I legitimately was gonna, you know, do some races uh, on the weekend and then I wasn't able to bend this bloody finger, like properly. I haven't been to the gym in like three, four days. It's absolutely dire. It's pissing me off a lot actually. But um, it is what it is, right? So we, we, have, we have to move on. So I'll be getting some more races done. Don't you worry. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, you know, in the next couple of weeks and stuff like that. Uh, really a couple of days for me. And yeah, we're gonna have a lot more races that will be uploaded and even done, um, which will be great. So Group B, don't worry, don't worry. I'll not be, uh, by next week, I don't think I'll be uh, first. Except, or maybe I will. We'll see, we'll see how we go, we'll see how we go. So then we got Group C here, and we have a pretty clear leader right now with just two races. We have Daniel Davidson, who was able to get a victory over Bobbledink and Vitus, so that is, uh, that's two big wins there. That's two big wins. He still has some big competitors left. We have Cola Pro that hasn't had a, a race uploaded yet, but I know they have done one. So as I said, anyone where it's like, you see these races and you go, oh, they actually done races, they have, okay? It's just more that we have to get the schedule right and we wanna try and upload it like relatively in order. So, you know, that's sort of an important thing when it comes to scheduling. So I think that, you know, in the next couple of weeks, you'll probably see the upload frequency uh, not quite double, I wouldn't say double, but yeah. We'll also be coordinating soon when the round will officially end. Um, you know, I wanted to really factor in about eight weeks for round one. I think that was sort of fair. It basically gives you, you know, seven races, an extra week. Plus we have the kind of the, the pre-start pre sort of thing. So I figured that would be fair, but we'll finalize that. We'll finalize that soon. We have Darth Blizzard, who got a victory over Lucas Bolton. Lucas Bolton played two as well. That's one, one, and lost one. Uh, we haven't had a From One race yet, so I have to get him to From One to get some races done. And Zert Monkey is not on the board yet either. But yeah, I think that Daniel Davidson right now, I think, you know, talking about like who could be the front runner from this, I think that gleaning from that, that's a big chance. But then he does have Dark Lizard and Cola Pro as well. So it's it's gonna be um, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with that group. 
All right, then we have group B. Now I know that internally, uh, you know, like peek back the curtain, this group has been very impressive um, because I think they've done the most out of everyone. If you don't include, you know, like the, I'm not uploading, but actually like recorded, these guys are, are killing it. You have, yes, Wally uh, with one win. We have Addy Reno with a win. Now that does, that actually surprised me. Uh, a win over Yoga Monia. Bradley Adams, one of the newcomers as well, getting a win. And Garth Vader beating Astra, but then losing uh, as well. I think it was, was, it, was it was the Bradley, yeah. Um, yeah, it was the Bradley, yeah. So that was actually the first one uploaded, the back row, the first one done. So, yeah, so that's very, very interesting. Uh, we've got, you know, Bring Back 996, also a newcomer, very keen to see how they go. Uh, and then we have the Acorn replacing Cody Dorkson. Uh, we will see some, hopefully see some Cody Dorkson exhibition runs in the future as well. Um, but yeah, we've put in, yeah, the, the Acorn has, has replaced uh, uh, Big, Big Slick, uh, which is, yeah, so great to see the Acorn back. And look, it's really tough because we've got other people that are technically waiting in to be replacements as well, should you know, things you know, go uh, tits up, as they say. Watch out for the shoe. All right, that's it. That's it. Quick, short, sharp, succinct. No Nintendo 64 to, uh, you know, to weigh me down with this, um, you know, with the format, right? He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's um, yeah, you know, he's, he's such a distraction, you know, with his, with his roundup. Um, but yeah, so what we're gonna be doing is, this is the first one, I might come back to this later, but next week I'm gonna pass it off to someone else to do the weekly roundup because I think it's a good opportunity to kind of have, uh, pass some different people and let other people kind of uh, share their opinions on this. Hopefully as well, I would love to see maybe in the next couple of weeks some kind of podcast that would be cool. It's sort of a, I know we haven't really organized that yet, but it would be good for you to bring back the ICTP cast. I'd love to hear from some of our, our more colorful members about what they think about their tournament so far. And yeah, really just, I think the positive vibes for this, I've very much enjoyed uh, ICTP 4 so far. I think it's gone really, really well. Um, and you know, thanks to everyone that's you know, uploading, rendering, you know, editing, um, posting, you know, it's it's really good to see how vibrant everything is so far. And, you know, great, as it's always been a great community, but I think that everything is going very, very well. So I'm very, very impressed. And, and Angus has been keeping it, keeping his, uh, his tabs on it as well. So don't worry, the uh, the spirit of ISG people will never die. He never, he may, be, he may be gone, but he's not forgotten. Um, I'm speaking like he's dead. He's not dead, he's alive and well. Uh, but it's, you know, the housing crisis is a, a real problem, isn't it? Yeah. No, no one can buy a house. No one can buy a house in Australia. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about housing uh, in uh, the next time I get this uh, weekly roundup, which might be in what, like, four, three, four weeks, something like that. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye, good night, bye.